we're going to put away the um, streamlining experiment, the one that measured drag. I want to remind you that this equipment made by Leibold, um, purchased in the U.S. By, from Klinger, is very, very expensive. Uh, this equipment, along with all the other pieces that go with it that are not seen, is about $12,000. So please be very, very gentle and careful with everything you deal with. Okay. So we'll do the easy one first. We're just going to carefully disconnect the string that was connected to our drag force and we're going to pull the card out, put it on top of the, the box here, and I'm loosening up the thumb screw. And there's also a washer that we'll see drop off. And we pull out the L shape here. And I'd better put this down. And I'm going to put the washer back on and the thumb screw back on just to make this system nice and tidy. Okay, the, the post goes back into the box with all the pieces. And be very gentle. These pieces do chip. And then we're going to put this box away inside the cabinet. I'm going to place it here for a moment. And inside the cabinet we have these very expensive, very fragile lift gauges. We'll use these probably next week when we do the, the lift and drag together. And I don't like to put them this way because these pieces on the side um, are not flush. And so here's our cart. And we're just going to very gently, carefully, line these pins up. Okay, And that's how we're going to store this system just right inside here. And this one actually belongs on the other cart used by the other table. Okay, so those lift gauges need to be carefully placed back on here and the whole assembly needs to be stored very carefully in a nice fashion in this cabinet. We're going to hold the pitot tube assembly very careful because this is glass and oil and we don't want to break these. These have lasted for about 25, 30 years or so. And then we need to take off this clamp, just loosen it, and slide the system out from underneath this base. And we're going to carry this over to the cabinet. And it goes down here, leaning backwards slightly. So there's already two in here. We're just going to carefully put the tube behind it. Um, behind the one that we're going to put in here. The tube is going to sit behind itself. And these masses will be used to go up against that third one, just gently to keep it in place. Okay. This power supply belongs down here. The other motor goes here with its transformer, just like this one. Okay, And then you can put the boxes these boxes with the pieces simply stack right here. And then the base and the cardboard go back into the cabinet at the underneath the computer. This clamp hangs on the wall in the cabinet and this tube, um, excuse me, this pole goes into the tube that's hanging inside that cabinet on the wall. And that will, oh, uh, when we take this off, we simply uh, disconnect the power from the transformer. Okay, so let me um, put this down. Wow. And then we're going to just lift gently and slide these apart. Okay, that, that's all that, that takes. And then I'd like you to very carefully or politely wind up this cable here, the power cord, in a nice loose, loose fashion here. And then slide this underneath the motor. It's not going to lift up the motor, it just sits there nicely. Okay. 
and then we're going to put that motor away inside the cabinet, carrying these things very, very carefully. Yeah, see, someone didn't put this away properly, so now I've got to waste time sliding this power cord underneath the motor. So now I can slide this in here, and everything's nice and tidy. And then the other transformer goes right here in front of this, this older motor and the larger power supply is on the floor there and that's used for this guy. Again, the boxes go right here. And lastly, the wind tunnel. The wind tunnel gets put on top of the shelf here and they can be... Um, hmm. Yeah, I think if these ends are together, you can actually um, angle them each slightly, slightly in, and this one slightly out, so that there's plenty of room for this clock. And so that's cleaning up the streamlining experiment.